Hey guys, what's up? It's Wednesday on a Saturday. What? <laughs> I've been trying to get to Germany and it's been causing... There have been a lot of delays, there have been things, blah de blah so sorry. Saturday on a Wednesday. The topic today is binding. This is a topic that for me is something that is a part of my everyday life, it's a part of just everything that I do. And, and anybody who has ever bound before can understand how addictive it is and how uh, pleasurable it can be and how dangerous it can be. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about safety as well, especially for guys with bigger chests, but this applies to guys with smaller chests too. You have to be careful because it it is dangerous. You're doing something very unnatural. You're constricting a part of your body. And I've come to realize, especially recently after binding for a year and a half, give or take, that it affects your breathing if you bind too tightly, too often, for too long. And I've heard horror stories about guys who have cracked ribs, who have permanently damaged something. I haven't done that. But I can tell you for sure, after a year and a half of binding, just about, for my birthday, it took me, I just turned 19, it took me six breaths to blow out those candles. And that was a sign to me that there's something amiss. Don't bind too tightly. Don't bind for too long. I mean, do it for a necessary amount of time when you're out and about, or if you have people around or whatever. But if you're just at home alone, don't bind. I know that it's not the best that you don't want to look at your chest looking like that when you're by yourself either but for your own safety and for your own health i would recommend that if you don't need to be doing it don't do it let let yourself breathe because otherwise it's it's no fun i can't run i can't walk up a, like stairs like generally like, regular stairs without just like wheezing if people ask me about it like I, I don't have asthma or anything else and so it's it's just from binding and uh I wouldn't want to wish that on anybody, so just be careful. And don't use the ace bandages either. That's the one thing that I've, I've unanimously heard about that. All the guys who've ever heard who've cracked ribs or done something awful, it's been from the ace bandages or from getting a binder that's too small. Don't do that. Measure it, get the right size. It's, it's not worth ruining your health over. You already don't feel good. Do you really want like to be in the hospital too? That's, it's, not, it, it's not worth that certainly not. The only time I want to be in the hospital is if it's for my top surgery and that's it. I don't want to go to the hospital for a cracked rib and then not be able to bind either because that's what's going to happen. If you crack a rib and you hurt yourself, they're going to tell you you can't do this anymore and that's much worse to me than having to go for a couple hours without it. That aside, uh, let's move into the what do I actually use and I'll also give you my measurements as well. I am a 36C, but I can also fall into a very low D. So I'm on the bigger side of the scale, so keep that in mind. All of these uh, that I'm going to show you, it's for somebody with a fairly large chest to begin with. And something that I would advise if you do have a larger chest, keep in mind, it is not going to be flat. It, it just won't. My chest will not be flat. Will not. Smaller? Yes. Better? Yes. Flat? No. Because <laughs> but I don't think people understand how a binder works. What a binder is doing is it's pushing back into your chest, okay? But like as you can see, I'm pushing, you see that right there? Right here? This is like boob fat. It, it, it's there. I can't just press it away. Even like with tight ace bandages, st it's still there. Don't be discouraged. That is what it looks like. Don't think by getting a smaller binder, a tighter binder, even the ace bandages, it's going to be flat. It will not be flat. It, it, it just won't. And so you have to kind of get used to dressing around it. Okay, so <clears throat> tutorial time. As you can see, right at this moment, I am wearing a bra, just to give you something to compare it to. So this is what it looks like on the side. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So now I'm going to change into a binder that I would wear just on a day-to-day -day basis. And all I'm wearing is just a regular tank top. So it's going to be like a direct comparison under a tank top because it's summer, yay! So I'm going to change it to a tank top now.
Okay, so this is the first one. So as you can see, it's a lot flatter on the front, and I've got all the information on these in the description. So if any of them look like they'd work for you, then feel free to snag the link. Okay, so this is Finder Numero Uno. As you can see, much flatter. There's no, it's no obvious like mound here. It's relatively flat. And uh, here's the side. So it does do quite a nice job. Not completely flat, as you can see, there's still some here. It makes your chest a lot thicker. Um, but it doesn't have a back, so it's good in that sense for a tank top, but not so good in the sides. As you can see, it's like very obvious here, it looks like a bra, okay? So keep that in mind that you can't get the long uh, tank tops with this, because it, it does look like a bra, it does not look like an undershirt, it's not like that. And that's mostly because it's not actually a binder, this is a posture corrector worn backwards. But it, it is very tight and it works quite well. And it's not, it's very tight in the sense that it does a good job and it works, but it's not so tight that I, it, obviously it is constricting my breathing quite a bit more than a bra would, or obviously not a bra would, but it works very well flattening you out. And it doesn't feel horribly uncomfortable once you get used to it. So there's that. So uh, this one I would recommend for more of like a day-to-day -day use if you just if you're not feeling horribly dysphoric it, it's not going to work if you're feeling horribly, horribly dysphoric there is still obviously tissue there but for day-to-day -day use if you don't want to hurt yourself i would say this is a good one if you have to wear it for a more extended period of time with that said that's essentially what i have to say about binders binding and all that jazz so until i see you guys next week actually no I can't say that. Until I see you guys next time, in which t by which time I will be hopefully settled in Cuxhaven. Uh, have a good week, guys. Stay safe. Have fun. Be happy. I love you guys. Take care.